you know, the creator, our God, whoever you believe in, gave us two ears and one mouth. And there, there's a good reason for that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I've made the mistake of jumping into calls and just assuming this individual is just like me. And because I like this sports team or I like this dish when I go out to dinner or I prefer this cocktail when I go out and have a drink, this person's going to be a lot like me. And you almost get too salesy to kind of use, you know, a, a little term there that we that I think we all from time to time use. Um, definitely focus on the active listening. That's something that I, I continue to, to struggle with. Something else that, you know, I've definitely learned you know, along the way, and I'm, and I'm still working on, um, is filling that dead space. Sometimes it's okay to maybe ask a question or even respond to a question and then count that one second, two second, three mm -hmm. second pause. And what that does is that's humbling. And it's, it's a, it's a tough thing that it's a, it's one thing to hear somebody coach you on that and tell you on that. It's a completely different thing to actually deploy that tactic in a customer facing or in a partner's facing situation, but those pauses are valuable and they're valuable for a lot of reasons, but you have to be able to give that individual time to process, you know, maybe a discovery question mm. or to follow up on something that you said. Um, and, you know, learning to use that pause and learning to use that, that quote unquote quiet time, that can be a strategic tool that's just as valuable in the toolbox as anything else. And I've learned that.